Um, all right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I got uh, I got a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today. And this vapey thing, man, it's got LEDs on it, and it does this. This is a thing that uh, Sense is really kind of marketing to trickers and LEDs and that kind of whole thing. It doesn't hold a whole hell of a lot of interest to me, but I will admit that at ECC, I did have a lot of fun with this. And it was honestly more for the people around me and the people at the booth than myself. I don't get much joy or entertainment out of lighting up my clouds with an LED, but it works as advertised. So yeah, that's a thing. But in order to get to know this whole setup just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close, as we always do. That's right, quick, short, up, and closey time. Yeah, go. <whistles> All right, yeehaw. Well, this is the one that I have been using from e since ECC, the Sense Aero Kit mod with the LEDs, which we'll get to in a second. But I wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, open one fresh, open one from the packaging and show you how it comes all packed in together. So that's why we have this guy right here. Uh, ha! Decorative paper. It comes with boring stuff like an instruction manual and you get a big poster. If you wanted to like rock this on your wall, you want a big poster? Sure. Comes with a big poster. Poster! And then this is the instruction booklet as well on the back. It's going to show you everything you need to know about your screen. I promise you it's not that complicated. This looks it makes it look way more complicated than it really is. So yeah, here's the whole kit. You got your mod right here, USB cord, replacement things, replacement O-rings, there's a replacement glass as well up here for the tank. It comes with an alternative clear cap for your LEDs in case you want them to be, I don't know, even more bright and obnoxious. Okay, I shouldn't have said obnoxious. Even if, you know, if you want them more bright and not sitting behind this sort of uh, smoky color housing. And it does also come packed in with that great sense Heracles 3 tank as well as a spare coil head. It's a dual 18650, battery door is on the bottom. The battery door is fine. It gets a little bit wobbly, maybe, a little bit twisty, kind of back and forth. But when it's on and it's secured, it stays on and it stays secure. Let's get some batteries in here. It's clearly marked up here, positive and negative. So you want your positive facing up and you want your negative facing up on this side. Close it. It kind of instantly powers on when you put the batteries in. There's no need to like one, two, three, four, five to turn it on. You turn it on and this is your main screen. And then the screensaver comes on and shows you the clock. A lot of Chinese mods do that. It's, it's just a thing. It just happens. You get to look at a clock, which I uh, ashamedly find a little bit convenient from time to time. So like I said, this is your main screen. You can actually change the main screen as well. And you can obviously change how quickly that screensaver comes on. But to change to the to change the main screen to get into any menu systems, there's three buttons down here, an up, a down, and then a select. And so you hold the select button down and that'll take you right to your menu. And this is where you can change from wattage mode to temperature control mode. I'm a wattage vapor, so I'm just gonna leave it on wattage for now. And then you get to choose soft, normal, hard. That determines your preheat time, your preheat speed, your ramp up time. So I'm just gonna leave this on a, uh, let's choose normal. And then one click over is the multimedia area where you can change your, your background or your home screen like this. So I like the first one. I think it's the only one that looks cool, but if you really wanted to, you could kind of choose, I don't know, this yellow monstrosity right here and have your screen be bright and, and yellow and real, real ugly. You don't really like any of these screens that are included in this, and you know what? That's fine. That's whatever. As long as there's one that I like, this one right here, as long as there's one that I like, I'm cool with it. Load this up with as many ugly interfaces or displays as you possibly want, but as long as I can find one that doesn't bother me, then, then I'm cool with that. So again, we're going to hold the button, and you can actually as well change the background behind this. It's all in that multimedia section but we're gonna hold this down again. We're gonna go over to the multimedia section, and then we're gonna go to over here where it says lighting. And this is where you decide what your LEDs do. And no, you don't get to pick the colors. You don't get to decide how they flash or how often they flash or which colors they use. You're just basically picking between numbers 
and it goes all the way up to 25, I believe. No, it keeps going. Okay, so there's only 30, and then it starts back at one. One, two, three, four, five. And so you kind of just pick a random number. Let's pick 18. You select 18, you go back to the main screen, and then when you press this button up here, well, I'll show you that in a second. Let's, let's finish talking about the mod first. Spring-loaded 510 connection right there. I have no problem fitting anything on here, fit up to 25 millimeter atomizers, no big deal. This Sense Heracles 3 obviously fits on here real well. That's what it's designed to do. The body of it is aluminum. The front and back are plastic. The buttons are plastic, but they are very clicky, and the fire button itself is also very, very clicky. Honestly, feels pretty nice in the hand. I'm a fire with my finger kind of guy, so I like to grab it and fire it with my finger, and it works. I'm honestly not super in love with the colors on this, and I'm not super in love with this particular shade of gray of anodized aluminum. I don't find it offensive Expensive, but it's just not my favorite and that's a really nitpicky thing to say I realize that so let's take a real quick look at how these LEDs actually work now If you just grab this and press the LED fire button nothing's gonna happen Nothing's gonna turn on you can't press this and accidentally blind yourself while you're vaping Thankfully but as soon as you press the fire button with or without an atomizer now that activates the LEDs so when you press the LED button Oh, they light up like circus disco crazy shit, man. Now, it would be cool if you could pre-program something into this, like blink a sequence of colors if it got that customizable, or have the ability to just choose one color, like maybe when you hit it, you want it to light up red every time, red always. There's no way to do that in the menu. It's picking those random numbers, and each number does something completely different in random, series of sequence of flashing lights or strobe effects or fading effects or different completely different colors they light up and they make your vape light up and that's that's really the only point of them now as gimmicky as this mod is it's got a lot packed into this little chip obviously you can run straight wattage mode bypass mode um, custom TCRs three custom TCR memory settings obviously you can set the time and it's got a lot of battery safety features built in as well it's gonna warn you if your atomizer is shorted it's gonna warn you if you've been pressing the button too long there's a cutoff limit it. It's going to warn you if the mod itself or the batteries get too warm. It's going to warn you if your battery is too low. You can unlock and lock the wattage up and down. You can unlock and lock the fire button. So even though this mod is pretty gimmicky and the LEDs aren't something that you have to use all the time, it's still got a lot packed into it. But we're going to save that for up top. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to fill up this Sense Heracles 3 tank. I'm going to set it on here. We're going to set a pattern on the lights. We're going to get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this this guy. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to this. It's, it's a little bit gimmicky. I mean, if I'm being real honest, it's a little bit gimmicky. I don't know if we... I accidentally blinded myself. Dual battery, box mod, 200 watts, a lot of temperature control adjustments in there as well, a lot of safety features in there as well, and it happens to flash really brightly with LEDs to illuminate your cloud if that's what you're into. The mod itself feels durable enough. It's aluminum, plastic on the front, plastic on the back, and it's got a fairly nice display. I would have honestly liked this screen and this chip and this battery configuration in a, in a completely different different mod. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about the tank, but I love the tank. The Heracles 3 is a fantastic sub-ohm tank. I love their coil heads. They're not mesh coil heads. They use wire in their coil heads, but they are, I believe, to be some of the best, if not the best, wire-based coil head tanks uh, on the market. I think they're great. I think Sense did a phenomenal job with them. As far as the mod goes, ah, I don't know. It's a fine mod. Dual battery, clicky button, gives me plenty of power, and it has LEDs. And I honestly, I don't care about the LEDs. It's fun for like five minutes if someone who has never seen it before is seeing it for the first time. The first time you see it, you go, oh, that's kind of neat. And then the second time you see it, you go, yeah, I saw that already. I actually have run into one particular issue with this box mod that I don't like. I don't like it, and that's enough to make me not really want to use this mod, but it happens very randomly and without warning, but I've had my buttons stick a few times and it'll just keep firing as I pull it away from my mouth and you kind of have to do one of those like 
tap it and get it unstuck, to me, it's not only annoying, but it is potentially unsafe if your button sticks and you can't unstick it. If this happened while you were driving in a car or out in public, it would, it would kind of be a thing. Or if it happened when you weren't even noticing, I think a sticking button is kind of an issue. In fact, Jess at ECC had the same exact thing happen to her at the squad house. She was using one, her button stuck, and it just kept firing. And from then on, she was like, nope, I, I don't trust it. It's only happened to me twice and I noticed it both times, but it's still, I mean, that's a con. That's a negative thing about this mod. The button should not be sticking. So LEDs or not, you definitely don't want a mod that is gonna continue firing after you've released the button. But it vapes, it vapes well. But in my honest opinion, I feel like there's, it's, it's real pointless. It's real pointless to have those LEDs on there. And I apologize for being a curmudgeon old man, but we all have to remember I'm 40 years old and I've been vaping for nine years. So I am not the target demographic for a mod that has flashing LEDs on top so you can illuminate your clouds. It's kind of real pointless to me, man. But with that said, it's not harmful. It's not hurting anyone. I generally don't care if people enjoy silly things or have fun with silly things. This is a silly thing. And if you want to have fun with it, more for you. Knock yourself out. It is actually kind of cool sometimes. <laughs> Look at that hypocrisy coming through in me. Anyway, are you going to need your vape budget hands for this? I found it over on Vapor DNA for about $100 for the full kit for the mod with the sub ohm tank. So... Yeah, I mean, you're gonna need your vape budget hands, but it's not completely unreasonable. You're getting a mod and you're getting what I consider to be one of the best sub owned tanks on the market. And I think we all know the answer to this, but if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have no vape gear left. Is this kit something I would seek out and buy? No, I mean, definitely not. The sub ohm tank, yeah. Absolutely. I love the Heracles 3. I think it's a phenomenal sub ohm tank. This mod with the LEDs, with its weird construction, with its sort of cheap feeling, with its sticky button. Uh, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't buy it. And since, while a great company isn't exactly known for their outstanding box mods, Sense is really very well known for their tanks and their sub ohm tanks. They continue to make really good, really well made sub ohm tanks and coil heads, but box mods don't seem to be their strong suit just yet. I can tell they're trying, and I'm honestly excited to see what Sense does in the future if they can get away from selling things that are so gimmicky. This is just going to be a, a trend. It's going to be a flash in the pan thing and it's, it's whatever. Okay, I'm done rambling. I apologize. I'm done rambling now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some links down in the description to where you can check this out if you're interested. Flashing LEDs all over your clouds, dude. <laughs> that was number 23, if anybody's interested. Let's go with number 15. Oh yeah, completely different. Just completely different colors, completely different pattern. Compl just blew my mind right there, man. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm being a little too hard on this. I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Like I said, I'll have links down in the description below. If you want LEDs in your clouds, this is the one mod that does it right now. <laughs> anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping. Or a lot of other, the, a lot of other, a lot of,